Hi everyone, it's Benitez here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm excited because in this WTF episode, it will be part three where I'm going to show you how you can automate generating a PDF and attach it to an outbound email to a customer. For the agenda, I will do a quick recap of why I decided to do multiple WTF episodes. And then I'm going to remind you about the process and the flow components, as well as the use case that we're going to be applying in this demo today. So in terms of this episode today, I will show you how we are going to utilize a document template based on the API that we're going to call called the export PDF document. So that was based on the custom connector that I created in part two and the word template process from part one. And so I'm going to show you how this all works in my pretty flow in Power Automate. So I want to remind you about the process. I'm using the invoice entity so whenever the status reason is updated to paid, that will trigger my flow in Power Automate where the end result is the customer receiving an email with that PDF as an email attachment. So I will cover the custom connector and the actions that we created in the previous WTF episode. So that was part two. And then I'm also going to incorporate the CDS current environment connector. For the use case, it is in the context of a tax receipt. So a customer wants to receive their tax receipt so that they can have confirmation of their purchase. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the demo. In Power Automate, this is what my flow looks like. And as I mentioned earlier, we are using the invoice. Whenever that status reason is updated to paid, it will trigger my flow in Power Automate. So the triggered condition is update. We are referencing the entity of invoice. We are setting the scope to organization. And then I've added some additional parameters here. So I've got the filtering attribute set to status code, which is the status reason. And then I've got a filter expression where status code equals this integer value, which is the paid status reason value that we can see in Dynamics 365. So that is my trigger. The second action will be to retrieve my queues in my Dynamics 365 instance. And then we're also going to use that queue in the create new email activity record. So I covered this previously in my last WTF episode where I shared how you can send an email from a queue using the CDS current environment connector. So go ahead and watch that previous WTF episode. So I'm simply just referencing the queue ID from the CDS list records action from this step. Okay. So then the next action we are using is the CDS list records action again, but this time I'm retrieving the document templates entity, and then I'm performing a filter query where the name equals invoice summary underscore Benitas here. So what that word template looks like is this. So this is one that I had formatted nicely that I have also uploaded uploaded into my environment. So when the PDF is generated, it's going to use this template and this is what it will look like. So that is the name of that document template. So it's this one in here. And then when we are done with retrieving that CDS list records action. We are going to call my custom action that will generate that PDF. This time around, what I'm doing is I'm referencing the type, the entity type code of invoice, and then we are referencing uh, the document template entity. So if you remember from my previous WTF episode, I explained the JSON body of the Dynamics 365 API request to the export PDF document. And this is what it looks like. And in here, I'm referencing the document template ID from this CDS list records action. I will provide the expression in my blog post. So please do check out my blog post. I'm using the technique where I am referencing the first row in the array to grab that document template ID. This is to prevent the apply to each action from appearing and cocooning this 
entire action. Again, I have another WTF episode that covers how to avoid the applied each if you want to refer to it. And then finally, we have the GUID of the invoice, and that is based on the trigger. And as a reminder, we are inserting the character of the square brackets, the double quotes, and the curly brackets. And that is because the uh, API requires it in this um uh, format in the JSON body in order for it to successfully call the API. If you leave these characters out, it will result in an error. So please make sure that you do include this. Okay, so then my next action is the create email attachment. So as you would have seen in my previous WTF episode, again, I covered the uh, JSON body of this request, which is the activity MIME attachments. And in here, I am referencing the ID of the email message that we had created in this step. And then the object type code is email. And then in here, I am referencing the encoded base64 of that PDF file from this action in here. And so I'm referencing that property. And then in here, I'm simply saying I want to use the invoice ID value as the file name, and then I'm adding the .pdf. If you don't add this, then it's not going to generate the PDF file, so you got to remember to include that file extension. And then for the subject, I'm just simply using the invoice ID. So then to wrap it all up in a pretty bow is where we use the perform a bound action, which I again, I have covered in previous WTF episodes where we are referencing the email message entity, the action that we are calling is a send email, and then we're referencing that email message. So when I go into my instance and update this invoice to paid, that will then trigger the flow in Power Automate. So I'm going to click OK, and then we're going to go look at the run history. Okay, we can see that my flow has successfully ran. And what will happen is that eventually we will see an email appear in my inbox. So it has, so this is the email. And when we download the invoice, we can see the tax receipt that was generated from that PDF, which matches the details from this invoice. And that is it for the series of how to automate generating a PDF and attach it to an outbound email that is going to a customer. So part one, I covered how to create a Word template and upload it into Dynamics 365. Part two was how to create a custom connector for Dynamics 365 in Power Automate and then associate custom actions by calling the Dynamics 365 APIs. And then the third one was this episode that you're seeing today where I show you how you can utilize everything that you've learned in part one and part two and in my previous WTF episode in terms of sending an email from a queue to achieve the customer receiving an email in the format of a PDF. So yeah, thanks so much for joining me in part one, part two, and part three. I hope you enjoyed it. Please stay tuned because I have more WTF episodes coming up. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye. Let's go.